I'm just going to get straight into it. How do we get started? We get started by using a wire tool. Craft wire tool. It's the first thing that you need. Uh, obviously, you need to be close to the workbench so you can craft it. And here we go. That is going to be your main tool to get going when you're playing with electricity. Make sense? Good. All right. Like you got with the other tools, we'll just get going. So, what are we going to do? I don't know. What should we do? Let's have a look to see how much power we've got coming out of this wind turbine. Now, it would make sense if it was producing a constant amount of power so that you can run all your things in your base. But it doesn't. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft a gadget called a counter. Let's get that. Alright. And it's going, to, it's going to stick on this wall next to me, okay? So there we go. You see that? Right, let's get over to this wind turbine that I've just put down. It's crafted like most other things. You see on the back here, on the let me do that again so you can see it. I am going to left click on that spot which creates the initial connection. I'm now going to left click on other random areas and surfaces and objects etc to keep the connection going. And you can see I'm trying to make it tidy, whatever, doesn't really matter, however we want to do it. People like and tidy. I'm going to take that straight into the power room. Now, there's a load of different options with this and the best way of understanding, like with many other things, is on the screen you can see where it says to hold down use to open menu. Let's do that. I'm going to say let's show the pass through. Show how much energy is flowing to us instead of the counter. Let's have a look. So I'm going to target. Yep. Yeah. There you go. So we've got 50 energy now. But hang on a minute. That was 59 just a minute ago. How could I tell? Because if I don't get too close. I just target run, but oh, it's going down further. So this goes to show, like other things in the game, solar panels are affected by the light going down. Wind turbines are affected by how much wind and the weather, etc. If it's foggy, so on and so forth, how much power is coming out. Now, I do this quite often to see how much power is coming out. That is very, very handy to know one of the very first things so that you can understand how big you can go with your circuits. That's it for now. Very short one, very quick one. Hope this helps.